Welcome to Escape Plan with Azure Raiden. This is a uh, Let's Play series. I'm going to go ahead and try to um, play through Escape Plan. Um, I'm not very good at these puzzle games, at least from what I understand. I kind of, I, I, for some reason, I struggle with them. But nonetheless, we're going to give it a shot. This is a, a currently a free download on the PlayStation Network for PlayStation Plus members. Uh, I think it's available for the PlayStation 4 and the PS Vita. Don't quote me on that. I believe it's for PS Vita, but it could be for something else. Uh, this adventure is starring Lil and Larg. Those are our two protagonists. I believe that lovely character there is our antagonist. Uh, Bukaki? Not sure. That's Lil. I believe we can help. We're certainly going to try. We're probably not going to help very much. Probably going to lead Lil and Larg to their inevitable demise. And he is sleeping. And farting. L L come on. Dude. Yeah. Come on. Get up. Get up. No. Up. Get up. I don't, I don't really know who we are or why we have like a sniper rifle cursor to direct our lovely characters. The 10 on his stomach is actually the number of times you die in the story. I've actually played this game a couple of times originally. I don't know how to reset that. So, that's what it is. Oh, I don't know why I did exits. I don't know why I did that. Uh, skip. There we go. Let's, let's move on, shall we? Stop or die trying. All right. I'm just going to chill right here. Platform's going to come out. We're going to make a very slow... I would say dash, but it's not even a dash. Uh, this is essentially a um, uh, a puzzle platformer game where basically you're in this one little stage. You have to progress from one side to the other without dying. Um, you control two characters eventually. Right now I'm just controlling Lil. Eventually we will get Larg. He'll be introduced here in a stage coming up shortly. Um... Within each stage, it prevents little challenges, and you have to try and get through it as fast as possible. Uh, Largo will actually be up here, I believe, is his original um, entry point into the game itself. He'll show up there. I don't know what's with those clappers. Why are they clapping? There's Largo right there. You can see him. He's just kind of chilling there. He's all happy and fat. Um, I don't know why they're clapping. It's weird. Depending on how you, fast you complete a stage, you get ranked by a certain number of stars, one through three. At least from what I understand. Um, and, um, yeah, I don't know much more about that, uh, about the game than that. I haven't played that much, so this is still pretty new to me. Um, I've, I'm still dying quite frequently. And, uh, yeah, this is uh, interesting so far. I really like the art style. Uh, the black and white is really unique, but there's a lot of texture in the background and the character design the shadowing is nice the lighting is nice um i love the music the, the game just feels like something that uh like tim burton would have a hand in in some way shape or form especially with the character designs and even their little portrait up in the corner it just feels so tim burton-esque and even the music itself just screams like something that Danny Elfman would have a part of oh there was a sign there oh damn whatever all right i mean whatever um, each stage, uh, well not each stage, but in some of the stages you will actually, uh, you can actually find signs, um, that you can collect, collectibles. I don't know the purpose of the collectibles at this time, um, but I just know that there's collectibles. I knew that's what you were supposed to do with that, Ugh, whatever, this stage gave me so much trouble before and I don't even know why. Probably just because there wasn't much direction on how to complete it. Trophy! I escaped the prison. Larg narrowly escapes being recycled. This was not Bukaki's plan. I don't, I don't like that name. Whatever. Production is ground to a halt. I don't, I don't know what they're producing. I'm kind of worried about it. Oh, you are so beautiful. With your missing teeth. This game almost even feels like something like Oddworld, where it's like a 2D puzzle platformer with pre-rendered backgrounds, but this is definitely 
this is more 3D than 2D. So maybe this is 2.5D. I, I don't know what you want to call it. This really does feel like kind of 2D, but there's some in oh, two stars. There's some instances where you can kind of go back and forth within the uh, the, the foreground and background. Like this uh, this uh, this event here has some uh, interesting. Uh, the event. This stage actually has some manipulation between the foreground and background. See, there's Lard. He's kind of chilling back there. You can't control him yet, but uh, you will be soon. You will be able to soon. Yay, three stars. Bricking it. Remain seated, please. Oh, see, there you go. Those are little minions. Uh, that's a sheep that's about to be. Yep, that, that, that's the angry guy. Up there, being happy and angry. I don't. Never mind. Um, moving on. The Gray Mile. Oh God, he's so jolly. All right, so he's gonna move forward. We're gonna drop this. Drop it there. There we go. Okay, and we're gonna move on. This sad little sheep. They almost remind me of the, the, the dog from Frank and Weenie. And it's gone. Um, so this one we actually have to lure the minion uh, to its demise. And we're gonna do that simply by clicking on the wall. He's gonna run over like a dumbass. There we go, he's gonna just chill right there. And he's gone. There we go. Okay. And I get clapped. I, I'm getting... People are clapping for some... Oh, yeah, that's what I gotta do. People are clapping for some reason. I'm not sure why. That's a bloody mess. I don't know who's gonna clean it. Definitely not me. It just looks like ink. It's like a sitcom or something. And people just sit there and clap for some reason. I don't know why. Break on through. He's all giggly and stuff for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, he thinks I'm like not gonna get through here. I mean, he's fat. Of course, he's gonna break through the floor. If you knock this over, there was a, a thing back there, but it's not there enough. So I already got it. It was a, a sign, one of the signs, one of the collectible signs. So I was gonna break this, just kind of fall through the wall. Not really even break it, just kind of fall into it. Make your bed. Okay, so this is gonna be, he's gonna have to fall through a wall, but if he falls just flat down, he's gonna land on the concrete, I'm assuming it's concrete, and die. So I'm gonna plop the mattress down, and now he's just gonna be able to waddle his way on over, fall through the floor, be all safe and sound. Now, now, now we're controlling both characters, for, at least for a limited time. Lil's gonna fall down, He's fine too because he lands on the concrete, so. When both characters are involved, you can you can cycle between them by hitting L1 and R1. And um, depending on which one. Also, an interesting feature with the uh, with the PlayStation 4 is it makes use of the uh, the the touchpad. So a lot of the a lot of uh, features will involve the touchpad. Like this I had to sit here and spin it. There we go. So create a little fan. And with Lil, I can now walk through. I think the fan involves the door mechanic. Yeah, so Lil's gone, so now I can control what's his face and get him through the door as well. Yeah, so that that fan comes in, comes into play a lot in the coming uh, episodes. Exhausted. It, the, obviously, black evil gas is bad. For some reason, you can cork. Ugh, okay. Thought I was dead there for a minute. That cork's gonna pop off. Okay, good. Got it. I, I thought I was screwed there for a minute. I'm making good time so far. This isn't too shabby. Moving on up. Okay, so he's gonna chill. He's gonna chill. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Cork that. 
gas going. I'm gonna have him just kind of chill. Oh, oh. All right, I'll move him over there. He should be safe there. I can switch over to the big man. Put the cork there. Oh, oh, okay. He certainly turns on a dime for being huge. All right, so we can bring him over here. Stop him on the pedestal using the touchpad. Move them up. And that should be the end of that stage. Just move them on over. I think I can get through another stage yet before I have to end the episode. Eh, that one didn't work out too well. That's alright. I remember this stage. This was a tricky stage, so this should be a little bit eh, this should be a little bit more interesting now. I got through that in no time. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. Uh, once again, this is Escape Plan. It is free on the PlayStation Network. Uh, thank you for joining me. This is Azure Raiden, signing off. Have a good night.